The massive Russian Empire was home for many different nationalities, sometimes even with higher cultures than the Russians. The Finns, Estonians, Latvians, Poles, Lithuanians and others tried to achieve an autonomous regime based on their national interests. This was prevented by the reactionary policy of the Empire and the Tsar himself. The monarch's most strongest power, the army was greatly weakened by the World War thus leading to the First Russian Revolution on the February 27. The Tsar was thrown from the throne and the Russian provisional government grabbed the power. The polity was changed, but the old economical and social bases survived. The more free climate allowed the Estonians to enforce the law of municipal autonomy. This was supported by a parade in St. Petersburg which was organized by the Freedom Union. Around 15,000 soldiers and 25,000 civilians, totaling 40,000 protesters took part of the parade. Around 100,000 Estonians served in the Russian army during the World War. Tearing apart from the sinking empire became the only way to survive. On the 28th November 1970, the Estonian Provincial Assembly declared himself the sovereign power in Estonia. The hard road towards total independence was chosen. Soon the whole country was covered with democratic municipalities, who organized the region's culture, politics and economy. This became very important in the current unstable situation in Russia. The idea of independence and its implementation was carried out depending on the collapse of Russia and the weaknesses of its central power. On the fronts the war raged on, despite the civilians' demand for peace, the Russian government continued the war. In this situation many extreme parties appeared promising, peace, bread and land. Steadily the provisional government lost its power to the revolutionary ideas. In Estonia the situation grew dangerous in the autumn of 1917. As the rear, Estonia was flooded by northern Russian armies who had lost discipline and moral. The capturing of the Estonian Western Islands hit the Russian command suddenly. Evacuation of supplies and forces began instantly, the retreating Imperial Russian forces turned into nothing more than common bandits. The fall of the islands was the last push to the central power, culminating in the October Revolution on 25th October 1917. This revolution laid the foundation of a whole new policy and social economy. All the private property was nationalized and the power went to the Reds led by Vladimir Lenin. This was accompanied by repressions and arbitrary of the Red units everywhere in Russia, though, against them united some anti-communists called the White Russians who gathered mainly in Siberia and southern Russia. Russia was torn into another war. The Russian Civil War had started, favoring the communists, despite the world's hostility towards them. In this war, the new republics were going to play an important role, especially Estonia and Poland. Seen that the Russian central power had completely fallen, the Estonian Provincial Assembly decided to declare Estonia independent. 
Unfortunately, the fresh Red Army had seized power in the capital of Estonia, the provincial assembly was forced to go underground and the enactment of independence was postponed. In other settlements the civilians formed armed groups to protect local municipalities. Heard about the news in Estonia, all over the empire Estonian soldiers started to cut their way to the homeland. From these soldiers the 1st Estonian Regiment was formed and as the German army started to danger Estonian mainland, the regiment was sent to confront them. It was a hopeless fight. Soon the unit was withdrawn to the capital. As the peace negotiations between Russia and Germany in Brest-Litovsk were halted, the German army decided to force Russia to peace with pure strength and sword. Received information about the German army's further plans about the Estonian mainland, the Estonian Provincial Assembly decided to declare independence. On February 24, 1918, Estonian national units managed to clear the capital from red units. The Manifest of Independence was printed and read in several places across the city. The people were in upper mood and national flags decorated the streets. The 1st Estonian Regiment held a parade. To all the peoples of Estonia. Estonia, in his historical and ethnographic borders is declared from this day, an independent democratical republic. Estonia wants to be neutral to all his neighbors and the whole world, expecting the same in return. Estonia, you stand on a promising dawn of future, where you can freely and independently make and lead your destiny. Start to build your home, where order and right would dominate, to be a worthy member in the family of cultural nationalities. All the daughters and sons of the fatherland, unite as one man in the holy work of building our country. Our ancestors' blood and tears shed for this land demand it, our future generations oblige us that.